Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a parametric family in Revit. Let's get started. To start, let's press new. Look for metric generic model. We can also use metric furniture. Go to create, you can press RP or this button. You will be creating a reference plane. Don't worry about the dimensions for now. After this, let's put in dimension. 'll and we're gonna do another one doing the equal you will be able to center the model that you're created so once you're done, we could name this, we could label this as with, press OK, click the dimension, we're going to label this as depth, and then press OK. So once we're done putting the labels, we can now create the extrusion. And then just click all of the blocks and press finish. So once you're finished, it created this extrusion. We can now check if it's working by going here. So let's put our depth 610 and then our width 455. Hit apply and as you can see it changes its size. Left elevation. We're going to add another reference plane. Let's put a dimension. We could label this as height. Now we need to align the height reference plane to our extrusion and then lock it in place. Here, let's create a void form. And let's move this one at the corner. So once you're done, click finish. And let's go to our 3D. Now here. We can move it 
but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our floor plan I am going to align it onto our width so that when we're when we're expanding or we're changing our width it will follow as well lock it lock it next let's add a void at the top here let's offset it to minus 20 let's finish and see in our 3d let's look it on our elevation front what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align it at the top I'm gonna align this on the kick plate next step let's go back to our floor plan and let's create our door Let's make it 10. Let's create a reference plane, RP. to 10 and then this one 10 millimeters as well let's align this checked let's add another reference plane okay let's see it in our elevation I'm gonna create a reference plane here ten I'm gonna align this Let's add a reference plane here as well. I'm going to add a dimension so that when we change this, it will follow the same depth. Let's create the handle by going to our front elevation. Up 
put some reference plane. I'm going to align everything. And before we hit finish, let's lock it at the top. And this one as well. So if this moves, this will follow. If this moves, this will follow. So we need to lock this one as well. gonna stretch it first and then I'm gonna align it onto this face the door face I'm gonna create another reference plane I'm gonna align that And then I'm going to lock it to our main dimension for depth. Now let's test our para parametric family. to shaded or hidden now I'm seeing that I put the door so low so what I'm gonna do last one is gonna put it up gonna create a reference plane I'm going to align this I'm going to lock it at the base we also need to put reference plane here so RP Let's align this And then let's let's lock it from the main dimension with now let's check our family
looks good just gonna change you can also set up the materials by selecting the materials so this will be the case so select materials and finishes case finish let's highlight the door Or finish let's highlight the handle so once you finish setting up the materials for the parameters You can also set up multiple preset cabinets if you want by clicking new type. So our cabinet one has this dimensions and if you change the materials it will have the same material. So for cabinet two I want to change this to 900, 500, 600 and then now if I hit cabinet 1 again it will go back to the preset cabinet 1 dimension Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below.